Yo, what's a horse's favorite thing to eat? I don't know, what? Hey, and welcome back to another Workflow Wednesday. Today, we're talking about how you can replace the colors of anything in a photo with the color range sliders using the hue saturation. Let's go. So you've got your photo open, be it a portrait or a landscape or, for example, this beautiful picture of a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini that I'll probably never ever get to drive, which makes me a little sad inside. And you want to change the color. So right now, it's like a yellow Lamborghini. I want it to be DM Creative, Daniel Marchionne, red. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that using the HSL Hue Saturation Luminance Slider. It's super easy and it's only a few clicks and I'll even show you guys how to tweak it so that it... Mm, just flows perfectly. So you've got your photo open in Photoshop. You're gonna go over to the adjustments panel and click your hue saturation. That pops up. Now, you got this little hand with the two arrows on either side of the finger. You're gonna click that and drag to the mid-tones of the actual car or object that you're trying to replace the color of. You're gonna get that eyedropper tool, just click, and if you hold it down, you'll see that the slider replaces the saturation. We don't want to replace saturation in this case. So I'm going to undo that. I've got my finger thing selected, finger thing, and I'm going to hold down command or control depending Mac or PC, and then click and drag on that slider. Now you can see the color of the Lamborghini changes, but it gets a little wonky. So we're going to find our red. This is, ooh, that's a nice red that I want. But as you can see in the photo, it also took a lot of the yellow tones that I replaced from other parts of the photo and turned them red. See how it's kind of turning purple and blue if you look especially in the trees and all that stuff? So we're going to get it to the red that we want and here's where we're going to fine tune it. This is where the little secret trick comes in and it's going to help your workflow. It's this little like, slider right down here underneath the hue, saturation and lightness. So you've got this gap and what this is is that it's where the colors are being sampled from. So if you take this in on either side, you can see it eliminates a lot of the reds and you're not exactly getting the color gradient that you want. So these two outside sliders, they're fading that yellow into the color that you want. So in this case, red. Now the two inner sliders are how greatly it's affected. So if you spread those out, you get more of an effect, whereas put them closer together, you don't get as much. Let's undo that. So we're going to spread it out a little bit. Problem is, you can see, again, as I mentioned, the background is kind of red. So we're going to take this in just a little. And now we've got a nice red Lamborghini. But in some cases, and the reason I chose this photo is, you won't be able to perfectly eliminate all the red tones or tones that you don't want to include. So. Very simple. The best thing about the hue saturation layer adjustment is that it produces a mask automatically. So all you do after you've changed the colors to what you want is you press B for that brush tool. You can go into the layer mask and brush away whatever you don't want to change. So we want to keep those trees and the wood. I mean the wood it did actually a pretty good job of thing, but the trees came out kind of red so we can fix those back and just brush out any areas that didn't quite get picked up by the HSL tab. And there you go, you've got your original yellow Lamborghini, boom, DM Creative Red Lamborghini. It's that simple. Only a couple clicks, play around with the sliders until you got it just the way you want it. <whistles> Quick way to replace color. If you guys found this helpful, hit that subscribe button. Be like, hey Dan, guess what? Every single car I take a picture of now, it's red, thanks to you. Hit the subscribe button, comment down below. If you already knew it, let me know. If you learned something today, let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love ya.